Yeah. Yep, see the white new cone, I think, on my left side. Yeah. So where is the honey being stored, Tim, in those cones? Um, they're actually, what they're doing is really interesting. You see there's a few bees down the bottom there? Mm -hmm. They're actually storing it all throughout the nest, and, and as they um, as the brood hatches, um, they will end up storing it all at the top of the hive um, before winter kind of comes around. When you put the hive um, back together, um, always kind of put it there and then slide the box across and wait for the bees to escape. And that way you don't squash any bees. So it's a very gentle way of doing it. Again, at every hive visit, let me actually propolize that down. At every hive visit, try and um, see um, the bottom board and if there's any hive beetle or small hive beetle there, which you can squash with. See the bees attacking it? Mm. It's a bit hard to see that bees really, coming out really attacking it. Because oh, they, can, yeah, they can see it in the light, but they can't actually kill them. But they won't sting them? No, they can't because the, the exoskeleton, so... You'll see as soon as you take away the um, the entrance where they're flying in, the darkness of the hive, they get a bit more agitated. Mm -hmm. So I'll just slide that back on. Mm -hmm. So lovely bees, there's, there's no bees kind of flying out to sting my hand. Can you feel the heat still? Yep. Where's it's very the queen? warm there. Can you see the queen, Tim? I'll try and find her in a second. Oh well, not this one. So I'll just pull out one of these frames because they're actually storing quite a bit of honey in this box and they'll eventually move it up to the top of the next. It's a good idea to remove the second frame from the end. Just gently prizing it. These are quite stuck down together with propolis. This frame has um, a mixture of brood and pollen. Can you see the different colour mm -hmm. pollens? Mm -hmm. Can everyone see that okay? Mm -hmm. Which is the brood oh. part, Tim? In the middle there somewhere? Yeah, the, the cap, that tan coloured. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. See the uh -huh. capping there? Yeah. Where it's actually closed mm -hmm. over? That's the, the eggs. That's the eggs, yes. But I'll show you um, more closely on another. But there would be eggs in the open, open ones too? There'll be eggs, yeah, and they're just not at the mature stage yet. So I'll put this top box back on. Um, so the honey's in the top box? Yep. You can just smoke them away from the... This is where it's good having a helper. You just smoke around the <laughs> <laughs> edges so I don't squash any bees. And there's no bees kind of... You can just smoke the bees off the... Uh, Corners there. Just smoke them on that around the front here. Just not going to move. Might as well. Yeah. Yes. Oh, look at that. Oh. <coughs> and, and this is solely honey? Oh my god, it's not going to stay. Oh, yeah. It's very exciting. That's pretty much all. There's a small hive beetle there. How much does that weigh? Um, about three or four kilos. That's um, that's the capped honey, that kind of snowy white. It's gone a little bit darker throughout the season. You can see how bees are actually gorging. See how they're gorging in the open cells of honey there, dunking their heads in. So that's that's unripened honey. That's fresh nectar that <coughs> has to yet has yet to be capped and ripen that stored ripened honey. What decrees whether it's stored, ripened? When it's full, basically. Yeah. And then yeah. it's capped with beeswax. Uh -huh. Does its viscosity change? Uh, it's much thicker when it's stored.